Welcome back, everybody. This is our exponential functions lesson number five, the method of common bases homework review part one. And so if you've been catching up our other homework reviews, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully they've been helpful to you. Make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel to get all the exponential function home reviews that we have and all the other ones for algebra two. And of course, if you find this video helpful, give it a like. Definitely appreciate it and also. So our first question here is solve each of the following exponential equations using the method of common basis. Each equation will result in a linear equation with one solution and check your answers. Now here we have the following. The first question is uh, 3 raised to the 2x minus 5 equals 9. And so you're saying to yourself, well, with this equation, the left side equals right side, but the bases are not the same. Well, for exponential equations, if the bases are equal for both sides of the equation, then we can set the exponents equal to each other. So if we know the bases are equal to each other, then the exponents equal to each other. But there may be times when the bases are not equal to each other. We try to convert one or both bases to a smaller base of equivalent value. For example, let's say we had number 16. This can be converted to 4 squared or even to the fourth power. So sometimes we need to make sure they have the same base. And here for our first question, we see that it's 3 to 2x minus 5 and 9. So now we say to ourselves, okay, well, I definitely can make the number 9 smaller, but can I write as base 3? And I remember in this case that 9 is equal to 3 squared. And so I now have the equation... 3 to 2x minus 5 equals 3 squared. And so in this situation, the bases are now equal to each other. And in this equation, if the bases are equal to each other, then the, the exponents equal to each other, which gives the equation of 2x minus 5 is equal to 2. From here, we're just going to solve for x by adding 5 on both sides. 2x equals 7, divide both sides by 2, x equals 3.5. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, to check this, we would definitely plug this back into the equation. Does 2 times 3.5 is 7, 7 minus 5 is 2, and in this case, 3 squared equals 9. So that does work out. Okay, so we'll do a little mental math in this situation. For, letter, for, number, for letter B, we have 2, 3x plus 7 equals 16. And before, we had talked about converting 16 into a smaller a smaller base, whether it be 4 squared or even 2 to the 4th. And 2 to the 4th is going to help us out because the base on the left side is 2. So we'll have 2 to the 3x plus 7. is equal to 2 to the fourth power. And so now we have in this case, 3x plus 7 is equal to 4. We'll subtract 7 on both sides. We'll have 3x is equal to neg 3, or x is equal to neg 1. Neg 1. Neg 1. Okay, and we plug this into our equation. We have 3, to, three times negative 1 is negative 3, plus 7 is going to be 4. Neg, neg 3 plus 7 is 4, and 2 to the 4 power is 16, so that works out fine. For C, we see in this case we have 5 to the 5x minus 5, uh, 5 to the 4x minus 5 equals 1 over 125. Well, we definitely see that base 5, but that 1 over 125 is an interesting one. What happens in this case is that we have, well, the following. We see fractions, especially those in the numerator of 1. It usually means we'll rewrite the number as a base with a negative exponent. For example, 1 over 9 can be expressed as 9 to negative 1. Or 3 squared to negative 1 power, which will give us 3 to negative 2. So in our problems, whenever we see one over a number, that usually means we'll have a, that num that denominator raised to negative one power, and then we'll change the base to wherever we need to, using our laws of exponents. So one over one twenty-five, that will give us 
5 to the 4x minus 5 is equal to 125 to the negative first power. And 125, well, we know we should know in this case, 125 can be written as base 5. So 5 times 5 is 25, times another 5 is 125. 5 to the, five to the third is equal to 125. So we're going to get 5 to the 4x minus 5 equals 5 to the third raised to negative 1, or in this case, 5 to the 4x minus 5 is equal to 5 to the negative 3. So the equation we're going to use to solve for this will be 4x minus 5 equals negative 3. Adding 5 to both sides, we're going to get 4x equals neg 2, sorry, positive 2 actually, positive 2. x is equal to 1 half because 2 over 4 is 1 half. And so we plug this into and plug this into our our equation. 4 times 1 half is going to be 2. And 2 minus 5 is well negative 3. 5 to negative 3 is the same as 1 over 5 to positive 3, and that's 125. We continue here, so the answer for number for letter C is one o one half. We continue with letter D, and we see in this case eight to the x power is equal to four to the two x minus one. And here we can, we can change eight to base four because four to a certain power you know doesn't seem to easily change uh, to eight. However, we can change them both to a smaller base. And this smaller base is going to be the following. 8 can be expressed as 2 to the third. And 4 can be expressed as 2 to the second power. So we'll have 2, 2 to the third raise the x equals 2 squared raised to 2x minus 1. And now we're going to distribute here. We'll multiply the exponents. And because they have the same base, we can just kind of write our linear function in this case. So we'll get 3x equals 4x minus 2. Well, to solve this, I'm going to move this up a little bit here, give them a little room. We're going to, going to subtract 4x on both sides. And we get negative x equals neg 2, which means x is equal to positive 2. And so now, if x is equal to positive 2, that means 8 squared is 64. And 4 to the 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 to the third is going to be 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So it works out nicely for there. Okay. For, no, for letter E. Now we have 216 and we have 1 over 1,296. Well, that's the same thing as 216 raised to x minus 2 is equal to, and we'll change, remember we said 1 over number is going to be that number, 1,296 raised to the negative first power. And even then, that's raised to the 3x minus 2. And so now I want to rewrite these as a smaller base and the smaller base in this case will be 6 because 216 is equal 6 to the third all right because 6 times 6 is 36 times 6 is 216 and if we multiply 216 by 6 we will get 1296 so therefore this is 6 to the fourth power so we'll get 6 to the third raised to the 3x minus 2 is equal to, now let's call it almost a double parenthesis here, 6 to the 4th raised to negative 1, all raised to the 3x minus 2. Well, definitely we distribute here. But here we're multiplying the 3 times negative 4, and each of these is going to multiply to each here. So, on the left side, your exponent will be 9x minus 6. On the right side, it's negative 4 times 3x. That's negative 12x. 
negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. So again, I am multiplying the 4 times negative 1 first. Then using that as our exponent, negative 4, multiplying the 3 times 3x minus 2. So negative 4 times 3x is negative 12x, and negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8. Here we solve by adding 12x on both sides, and adding 6 to both sides. We'll get 21x is equal to 14. And we divide both sides by 21. You have to move up the screen a little bit. X is equal to, oh, sorry, not 12, 21. A little discalculia. Yeah. And we get 2 thirds. Okay, so I'm going to kind of bring this up to here. And so 2 thirds, you know, we can calculate this. Um, 2 thirds minus 2, you know, it will actually, uh, in this case, 2 thirds, uh, two -thirds minus 2 is going to be, in this case, uh, probably be 1 and 1 third or 4 thirds. And 2 16 to the 4 thirds power is the same as a cube root of 2 16. That's uh, cube root of 16 is going to be 6 raised to the 4th power. Uh, that will be 1,296. Now you're saying, okay, that's weird. And so now for the right side, 3 times 2 thirds, it will just be, well, that'll just be in this case, uh, oh, sorry, from the left side, it's definitely going to be 1,096, but it's, it's going to be negative 4 thirds, so it'll be 1 over 1,096. Now, on the right side, you're going to have 3 times 2 thirds is going to be 2, minus 2 is, well, 0, so you get 1, 000, 1 over 1,096, so that works out nicely. And for the last one here, for this first question, we're going to change the 1 over 25, and this becomes 25 to negative 1 or 5 to negative 2 power. And you're saying, oh, how do you do that, Mr. Gong? Well, it's, again, 25 is 5 squared, so it's just going to be, just in this case, it be, you know, f you know, 1 over 25 is 5 to 5 squared to negative 1 or 5 to negative 2. 3,125. Well, okay. So here, this value uh, will be written as 5 to the 5th power. So 3,125 is equal to 5 to the 5th power. This 5 times 5 is 25, times 5 is 125, times another 5 is 625, times another 5 is 3,125 to the 5th power. So not to the 3rd, to the 5th. Sorry, my my fives, my threes, I got to make sure that they're clear. And so we have five to the negative two, raised to the power of x plus 15, is equal to five to the fifth power, raised to the power of three over five x minus one. And we distribute. And so negative two times x minus 15 is negative two x minus 30, 5 times 3 fits x is going to be, well, 3x, and negative 1 times 5 is minus 5. I'm going to add 2x to both sides, add 5 to both sides. We'll get 5x equals negative 25, divide both sides by 5, ladies and gentlemen. x is equal to negative 5. And so if I plug in negative 5, I'm going to have, in this case, Negative 5 plus 15 is going to be uh, 1 over 25 to the 10th power. And negative 5, 3 times negative 5 uh, will be, in this case, uh, negative 3 plus minus 1 is going to be negative 4. And that will work out nicely. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of our first question and our first review. Uh, if you found this helpful, please give a like. I'll give us a full page here, see everything here. And um, you know, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care and be safe.